All right. Well, everyone is popping in. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. Today is September 14th, and it is noon Eastern time, which means we're going to get the show going. Um, my name is Doug Stryker. I'm the CEO of Savvy Training, and with me is my esteemed colleague at Kraft Kennedy, uh, Tracy Kraft, and our trainer for today is a close and dear friend and expert trainer on all things in the legal tech space, Barb Ragsdale, and I'm thrilled that she is here to guide us through I Manage Work, Get Started. As a reminder, today's session is being recorded and due to some Teams things. Features. Features. Uh, teams features. Everybody by default, I think, has their camera and mic on and uh, everybody can also present. So please don't do that. Um, uh, turn your camera off. Oh, there goes Barb. Um, you can turn your camera off. You can turn your mic off. If there's questions, there's the Q&A and the chat, and we will be monitoring that. But with that, I will hand it over to Barb. I will stop sharing my screen. Barb, you have the floor. Thank you very much. Let me go ahead and grab my screen and let's get this started. Well, welcome everyone. Thanks for joining. Um, my job this session is to talk about iManage work. Um, Cloud-based as we're working through this, but let's give you a tour because Definitely iManage has done some great features. First of all, just to let you know, upper left-hand corner here, letting you know how I got here, work.goimanage.com. Then you'll be asked to log in and a password. And this is the opening screen. Now, a couple of features, and again, you're gonna have some flexibility here, but let's just give you some ideas. Notice coming down the left side of the screen, this is our navigation pane. Sometimes you hear people call it the tree because you can renegotiate, reorganize. But I love a couple of great features that they've done with this just visually as you start out. Notice the blue bar off on the left-hand corner or the big bolded area. It's reminding me where I am at the moment. And that's gonna come into handy when we do a simple search here in a few minutes. I love the fact it shows me my recent documents. And again, this is our sandbox. So basically documents for the last 30 days we've played with, but here's a big improvement. Instead of looking at the last 41 documents you've worked on, Word, Excel, PowerPoints, PDFs, it's gonna show us the last 142. I also like the fact I don't have to go through a big list to look at my open or checked out documents. Here's a new visual as well. As you're looking at this, notice the little red lock. The little red lock is trying to replace that little red, and I mean little, red check mark previously so that I can see if something is open. So great feature, easy to work with, just giving you some visuals back and forth to show you what's going on. Also, while we're here looking at just a document list, what you're looking at currently, document name on one line, the properties on the other, this is what we call the list view. Um, I'm going to show you, you can make an adjustment with this in a moment, but while we're sitting on this particular document, I love the fact I can go to the upper right hand corner and one of my favorite buttons is the one on the far right, sort of looks like a circle with an exclamation or a little eye in it. This is show details. It's going to show us under one tab, instead of looking at the properties horizontally, I'm now looking at the properties vertically which a lot of people like because when you save a document in iManage Work, this is sort of the format that we're pretty used to. Now, it shows me the versions I've worked on over here, but other folks on your team, whether they're in the same office or elsewhere, you can check on the number of versions out on the system. It also gives you a preview option, and I'll be honest, right now this is not my favorite feature because even if I expand in this, it's super hard to look at. So I promise in a moment, we'll show you a better option. I turned it on with hitting that button that said show details. I'm now clicking it. It's now hide the details. 
depending on the setup that you're looking at for your document list here, you might say, oh, I have some empty space over here. Could I get another view instead of list the two lines? Absolutely. The button next door, anytime you see that drop down arrow, it's giving you choices. I want to see what the grid view looks like, which basically takes the information and puts it off in one line. Now, the good news is if this is your style, fabulous. If not, you can, with the click of a button, go back to list view. So whatever is comfortable for you is absolutely fine. But as I am looking at this, I don't have to have Word, Excel, PowerPoint, anything open. There are lots of menu options available here to make my job getting information about a document right here as I'm looking at it on the screen. If I right click anywhere in the document name, I get quite a fabulous menu of things we can do. And the first one we're going to talk about is under open a real preview. So now I can really look at the document. Oh, how fantastic. It gives me the document name at the top. It still shows me the properties and versions tab that we had a few moments ago. Plus all of the icons that you see represented right here are the same things that you saw when I right clicked. So I can print from here. I can do a variety of other things from here. But I realize not everybody's a right clicker. So I'm coming upper left hand corner of the screen to the left of tools where you see that arrow. Let's me back up where I was a moment ago. And let's talk about a fabulous feature over here on the right of that document. Notice you have three little vertical dot dot dots. I manage calls that the kebab. I know I think somebody was hungry when they wrote it. But if I left click on the kebab, I get that exact same menu, so I have the flexibility to go to preview from here. And again, I love the flexibility of being able to do some basic things. Now, while you're in this list, this preview, a couple of things if you say, oh, that wasn't the document I wanted to preview. My favorite feature here is being able to click on the next file button and without me doing anything, it goes down to the next document in the list, which I love. And now that I am no longer, whoops, now that I am no longer on that first document, one of my favorite features is I don't have to get out of this to go back to somewhere else. I can hit the preview button and back up previous file, next file. Now granted, I could, like I did before, come up to the upper left, and pick something else and go back to preview. But again, just giving you options. So our joke always is in the new world, it's at least three ways to do everything. So whatever your style is, is absolutely fantastic. So let me scoot back out of preview for a moment. And as we look at this, one other feature we want to talk about is there is a new menu option, whether you right click or you kebab, and I want to talk about this one because I think it's absolutely fantastic. Previously, we had a feature, and let me move some of this stuff out of the way here so it's easier to see. We used to have a feature called history. And in the new world of iManage work, basically iManage created a feature called timeline. It incorporates history, but it also does more. So right click, I can get timeline left click on the kebab i can get timeline whatever your choice is but let me show it to you because i think it's absolutely fantastic and i'll give you a little bit of heads up as well timeline is also available when you're in word with the imanage integration but let me explain it because it does incorporate some great features here so by default activities is considered the timeline as far as what are you wanting to look at regarding a document? Do you want to look at the last month? Do you want to look at a week? Do you want to look at a day? Whatever I am clicking on over here, iManage is keeping track of the calendar over here for me. So whatever works, it keeps track of the users. So we can see who did what. And by the way, 
if several different people had worked on this document, you would end up seeing their names listed in a little right arrow to access their activities. Love that feature. But here is what history for most of us we are used to looking at. Chronological order, who did what to the document. So list is our old history. And I manage also in here decided to give us versions. If you are a version person, you are going to be very happy because within that either right click or left click menu, you have versions accessible in three different places. But again, I think timeline is a great feature because it incorporates history plus other features. So I think great feature to make sure you know what that is all about. Now, a couple of other things as you're here, I'm looking at my documents, either checked out or recent, and I realize, oh, I don't see what I want. So I wanna talk about a simple search here because this is a great feature. Now, I'm sitting on documents at the moment. You can tell by the bolded and the blue, but if I go up and click on the search, it assumes as I look at this that I'm looking for something in documents. So the blue line always navigates you to where you're working. But if I came in when I was sitting on documents, I still have the flexibility to go over to matters or over to clients and look something up that way. So please keep in mind, it references where you are when you click on simple search, but you're in charge and you can certainly make other adjustments. I am going to do you something super simple and just ask for the word test. To initiate the simple search, you may either press enter or you can come over to the little magnifier on the right hand side, click and it will happily give you results. Results are broken down in two ways. Did you? I'm sorry, yes, question? Yes, right on my desk. Um, okay. um, are we going to the club? Oops, okay. So first things first, it goes through your recent matters and it gives Yeah, sorry, Bar Barbara, you got muted. Um, it looks like maybe someone got excited to mute the no noisy guest and mute it all. So if you can unmute yourself, Barb, we want to know what you're telling us. Thank you. It was weird. Thank you. Appreciate it. Um, so I'm looking at my results. I still have all the same features, the right click with all the fantastic choices. My left click on my kebab, fantastic choices. But let's take a good shortcut in what you're looking at. And many times when you go to all or personalize, you could be looking at 500 plus results. So want to make sure you know there's one more great button over here on the right that will give you a little bit more control over what you're looking at. It's a filter. You're not disturbing anyone else when you work on this, but rather than having to scroll through and look through a variety of results, if I click on filters, lots of different ways you can adjust what's here, but I wanna talk about two that I think will give you the most flexibility. By default, when you're looking at the date category, it is showing you everything on the system. And again, I know my numbers are lower because I'm on the sandbox, but I could say, oh wait, could I look just at the last 30 days, please? Or the last seven days, whatever I want. But my favorite feature to be quite honest is the date range where I can specify what it is that I am looking for so that I can go back and work on what I want. And again, this is within your total control, whatever is more comfortable for you. But I love that feature because sometimes when, again, you're looking, especially at your all results, it's way, way, way too many things to scroll through and look at. So love that feature. One more that might come in handy is depending on your results, you might wanna be able to control 
and say, hey, I'm only looking at PDFs or spreadsheets or whatever. So those two, I always like to make sure everybody is aware of because they're great shortcuts. You could, as time goes on, plug in a specific author and it remembers the last five. You can search for more. You could also, as you look through this, again, choices to make your job a little faster and easier. And again, I'm going to send that back you're not disturbing anybody else, but it certainly gives you lots of great shortcuts. Now, I love the fact as I go through my categories on the left, I can see the emails filed by me into iManage. I can see recently filed emails into the system. I can look at folders. And again, however you like to look at things is absolutely fantastic. Clients. And remember, all of these that you're seeing in my category list, if I don't see what I want, I certainly have the flexibility to go up and search. And again, please remember when you're searching, you are in charge that if you are searching by name or number, either one is absolutely fine. I know sometimes people go in one direction or the other, and that's great because sometimes they know the numbers. And again, I can just click, click, click to expand and see the matters. And all I'm doing is click, click, clicking. And I'm doing this on purpose because one reminder, if as you're working with this, and I admit, sometimes I get a little click happy. If I suddenly go, uh-oh, I'm not where I wanted to be. Please take a look at the top. I can see the client. I can see the matter I'm in and suddenly go, whoops. Notice that up arrow, it gives me the flexibility to be able to move up and stay right where I am. I'm just drilling down. Now I'm working my way back up. So whatever is comfortable for you. And again, simple searches up here to make your job a little faster and easier. You still have your recent matters. So I can expand to show you what's here. And again, as is typical, I'm just expanding anytime you see that triangle. Now, what if, because typically recent matters is set for 10, and maybe you're in the midst of oodles and caboodles of projects, and you say, okay, I don't want to now that I've searched for a particular matter, I don't want to have to come back, search for it again, because I'm in the middle of a project. So you always have the flexibility to be able to right click on an item and add it to My Matters. When you put it in My Matters, it is just a link. So this is, I love this feature. It reminds me what it's doing. So it says, okay, completed it, because again, you could be multitasking. So it's still in My Recent Matters, but it's also down here in My Matters. So as I work through this, and don't laugh, you have up to a thousand matters that you can keep in here which would probably drive you a little bit crazy because you'd be scrolling for a while. But here's something that they did that I love. What if you have a matter, a client matter, and you suddenly say, okay, I'm done with it. I'd like to put it back where it was before. So you can right click. And I love the fact the vocabulary now says remove from my matters. In the old days, delete was the vocabulary word and it made people super nervous because it's like, uh oh, am I really deleting this? Well, when you used to click on it, it used to give you a box that said you're only deleting the shortcut, not to panic. But I love the fact that now it says remove. It just makes people feel a little bit more comfortable. So again, you're in charge as to how you like to have things look to make it super easy to navigate around. One other shortcut sort of keep in mind for the future, when we were here before, we were talking about simple searches, but you might have noticed tucked over here to the right, there is an advanced search option. So depending on your style, and I should say, if you are a great search type person, some people are into Boolean logic with the quotes and the ands and the ors, still works. But let me give you a sneak peek over here because this might be a little bit easier for you to work with. You decide, 
Are you looking for documents, emails, documents and emails? Totally up to you. Clients are sort of included here with matters. So as you click on this, you can click here for client to the right for matters. So choices. One other thing that's kind of a cool tool here, you have a basic set of fields listed for what you're looking at, which is great. But there may be something else that you would like to add, a field that you use. So everyone has that capability. You also have the capability with these. If you need to, as you look to the right of the fields, you could delete them, basically remove it. I shouldn't say delete, that makes people a little nervous but I could remove it so that I don't have to look at that field. Now, one goofy thing, and I wanna make sure you know in case you're wanting to explore this, if I go to add additional criteria, you're like, wait a minute, I already have title. Why did it give me title? Well, it gave you title because that's the first field in the list. So if you needed something else, such as a document number or whatever, you would have to scroll down to the list to find it. But that's the reason when you add something, title always appears first. And that's just how it is. But again, I wanted to give you a sneak peek of this because some people are very happy navigating with their simple search. Other people are like, ooh, while I'm up here, I wanna see what it is over here to give you some ideas. So giving you choices back and forth to show you the bells and the whistles and all of that. Also, one other choice, and let me go back over here to documents for a second and click over here. I'm going back to good old test here for a moment because I want you to see one other great feature. Okay, so and let me go back over here. Shorter list to look at here. A um, couple of things we talked about, right click, and remember I mentioned about versions a little bit earlier, because yes, there are choices as you look down the list for all kinds of properties. Now this one is probably gonna make a few of you laugh. Notice at the bottom of my list, there are properties, which basically activates that panel on the right that we got with show and hide details. So again, some of these may look a little redundant, but wanting to make sure that you have options on how to navigate around. Notice you could move something to trash if you needed to, but here's a button I wanna make sure you're aware of. Say I move something to trash, if I go and use the name, you'll see your name up here, notice there is an option to take a look at trash because sometimes you may get to the point that something has been put in trash and you suddenly say, oh, oh, I want to change my mind about what I'm doing. Now notice when you're in here in trash, you still have the kebab. I can restore it. I've changed my mind. I want it out of trash. So again, wanting you to see this because I am always amazed that sometimes no one knows, ooh, I moved it to trash. How do I get it back from trash? So wanted you to see that. And again, it's hit the drop down by your name and you will quickly and easily see a variety of other panels. A couple of other buttons over here just to see. I like the fact, whoops, let me go back to all for a second so we're not talking about emails specifically. Okay. And whoops, helps if I'm in documents and not, there we go. All right, so right click. And again, lots of choices. I like the fact you can copy something, which is great. Here's versions. You saw versions in timeline. So again, you saw versions in show details. Right from here, I can email something, what I wanna do. I can change my look to show in a tree so I can see things a little bit differently. And again, please note more than one way to do everything. So as you work with this, Whatever is your style, absolutely fine, just to get you comfortable because lots of new looks, lots of new possibilities, and we wanna make absolutely sure that everybody is comfortable 
right clicking, left clicking on the kebab, if that's more how you like to do something. Again, whatever is your style, whatever you want to be able to do, we want to make sure that right from here, I manage work, you can do all of these great features and make your job a little faster and easier. One note about properties, and I'm going this way on purpose. A reminder, again, you have choices when you look at what's here just to see the information. Again, some folks love looking at it vertically versus horizontally, so either one is fine. Okay, Doug, I think I have covered what was on my agenda. Anything else you'd like me to show? I think that was a fantastic overview, Barb. Thank you. As everyone knows, and we've done before, we could spend hours and hours on iManage, and we'd be happy to do that at some point with anybody. But for today, unless there's any questions in the chat that people have specific uh, things on, Barb, fantastic. Very much appreciate it. Thank you. Let me stop sharing so that you can share. Okay. We're at the 26. Tracy, are you there? I am here. I don't know. Camera is not working, so you'll just have to imagine I'm There's here. One, there is one thing. Can we see the Outlook panel? And two questions on search. Let's take a quick look at that. Um, are parameters sticky from the last search? And is there something analogous to the ellipsis buttons? Are they end of fields that let you look up author name, et cetera. And then a question on teams. So I think what we'll do is we'll take these questions and keep popping them in the chat. And thank you very much. We will address each and every one of these and get back to you um, with answers to those questions so that you are satisfied with that answer and the question. My friend Tracy, take us away. Sure. Um, and, and thanks, Barb. That was a really great dive into something I think is on the minds of a lot of trainers and users and firms right now as everyone's, you know, making their upgrade plans and figuring out how to navigate uh, something that's going to be, you know, kind of fast approaching. So timely topic. Um, and generally, this is the part in our program where I announce what our next month's topic will be, but it's going to be a little bit of a surprise a to be determined. Um, and I'm actually, you know, interestingly, it might be a cool opportunity if anybody has a topic on their mind that they wish that we would be covering in these monthly series. You can pop it in the chat here. You can come off mute. You can email us and say, hey, I really wish you would cover this or this is something we're talking about at my firm or I know this is a hot topic in the industry because um, we do our best to kind of put our ears to the ground and see what people are the buzz is about. Um, we are preparing for uh, some of the conferences coming up soon and we're going to be talking about cloud strategy, which might fall into this kind of DMS conversations. That's one of the topics I'm considering for our October webinar. Um, you know, just if you pull in one piece of your environment, you're going to the cloud with that, then how does it impact the other and sequencing? I'm not 100% sure yet if that's going to be the sticky topic. So, uh, you know, stay tuned. When you get a follow up email from Savvy, it will also include details about our October webinar. And again, we're open to to topics and uh, thank you all for joining today. Thanks very much, everybody. Have a great rest of your day, and we'll send out the uh, recording as soon as it's ready.